Quotes from, John Calvin. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes and Bible Verses. First quote. Is it faith to understand nothing, and merely submit your convictions implicitly to the church? Second quote. Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world, John 4:42. From these passages it is obvious, that even those who are not yet imbued with the first principles, provided they are disposed to obey, are called believers, not properly indeed, but inasmuch as God is pleased in kindness, so highly to honor their pious feeling. Third quote. When God wants to judge a nation, He gives them wicked rulers. Fourth quote. We grant indeed, that so long as we are pilgrims in the world, faith is implicit, not only because as yet many things are hidden from us, but because, involved in the mists of error, we attain not to all. The highest wisdom, even of him who has attained the greatest perfection, is to go forward, and endeavor in a common teachable spirit to make further progress. Hence Paul exhorts believers to wait for further illumination in any matter in which they differ from each other. Philippians 3:15. Fifth quote. To be pure in heart is to take no delight in cunning, but converse sincerely with men, and express nothing by word or look, which is not felt in the heart. Sixth quote. For what is idolatry if not this, to worship the gifts in place of the giver himself? Seventh quote. First, we must remember, that there is an inseparable relation between faith and the Word, and that these can no more be disconnected from each other than rays of light from the sun. Hence, in Isaiah the Lord exclaims, Hear, and your soul shall live, Isaiah 4 3. And John points to this same fountain of faith in the following words, These are written that ye might believe, John 20 31. The psalmist also exhorting the people to faith says, Today, if ye will hear his voice, Psalm 95 7, to hear being uniformly taken for to believe. In fine, in Isaiah the Lord distinguishes the members of the church from strangers by this mark, All thy children shall be taught of the Lord, Isaiah 54 13. For if the benefit was indiscriminate, why should he address his words only to a few? Corresponding with this, the evangelists uniformly employ the terms believers and disciples as synonymous. Eighth quote. Faith is the knowledge of the divine will in regard to us, as ascertained from his word. And the foundation of it is a previous persuasion of the truth of God. So long as your mind entertains any misgivings as to the certainty of the word, its authority will be weak and dubious, or rather it will have no authority at all. Nor is it sufficient to believe that God is true, and cannot lie or deceive, unless you feel firmly persuaded that every word which him is sacred, inviolable truth. Thanks.